think we're going to see a franchise tag for Jalen Johnson. We'll see. I think the team would have loved or, or still would love to get a deal done without that. I think it would look good for the locker room, got, you know, homegrown guy, all these things. Um, but I think we might see a tag first uh, and then try to continue working that thing out. What did you think about Ryan Poles' comments then on Tuesday where he, he pretty much put it out there, our offer's strong. It was a strong offer. Guarantees are good. We're giving him an opportunity to get back on the markets. He's still young enough for that opportunity in the future. Uh, it certainly seemed like he was pushing this in their court a little bit. Like, come on, let, let, let's get this thing done. Yeah, I think that is key. And look, he's not even 25 yet. So <laughs> three or four year deal. He is, I know corners can age quickly sometimes, but you're, you're 28, 29 years old looking for that next deal. You know, Jarius needs 27 years old right now. So uh, I think if they were offering a shorter term and, and stronger upfront cash flow, it probably was a fair offer. And I, and I do think, we kind of don't appreciate like they probably wanted to win that Green Bay game similar Detroit Lions vibes as last year. Jalen makes kind of a routine tackle week 17 gets a shoulder injury misses that big game. It was a bit of a bloodbath. You know, the, the score was mm-hmm. close, but you know, I mean, Dontavian Wicks was running wild the entire game. I feel like so just the, the, the end of the season too. I'm not going to say it left a, a bad taste in their mouth, but you know, it, it, these things are on the back of their mind. It's the last impression as you're negotiating maybe a, you know, $20 million a year contract. Well, Brett, I think a lot of Bears fans too, they would be disappointed with that outcome if that were to happen with Jalen Johnson, but are there any, any underlying things that you can tell Bears fans right now? Okay, he gets tagged. What are the positives that, that could come out of that going forward then? Yeah, I, I still think they would try very, very hard to get a deal done after that. You know, I think they're just not going to make a deal they're not comfortable with. But look, we, we even saw it more posthumously, but like when that's the wrong word for sure, but uh, like, <laughs> close enough. Yeah, I would have to look that one I up. think Montez Sweat's alive. Uh, that's yeah, like, okay. Yeah. So, but like, when that we was, hope so. We heard <laughs> after the fact that like he wasn't super pumped about going to Chicago, yeah. mm-hmm. he would have rather gone to Atlanta or somewhere else. Um, and, and like, yo, so that, that might make a challenge with the contract. You usually want to have a contract agreed to as a part of those trades. It's, it's generally you know better, better business to not give all the leverage to the player, but. They got it done, right? And, mm-hmm. and so I think if a tag does happen, I still think they're going to push very hard to get this done. So let me ask you this. Jalen, I love you, Jalen. I love your competitive fire, Jalen. I love the fact that the Bears put it on you that you needed to get more takeaways and you went out and got more takeaways. And you could have even had more because you dropped a couple. But Jalen, Jalen, they're offering you big money, life-changing, insane money. What is – what are – where are you getting in your own way here? Am I going too far when I said, because honestly, that's if, if he was sitting here right now, because I, I did battle Jordan LeBron with him pretty spiritly. I, I would tell him the same thing. This is your choice, obviously. But as your friend, Jalen, as a guy that appreciates your work ethic and what you bring to the table, that's what I would tell him. Yeah, I mean, I think the thing there, maybe pushing back on it, is this free agent class, besides him, um, now that we know that Jerry Steed probably getting franchise tagged as well, is extremely weak. With the drop off from Jalen Johnson to the next available free agent corner, I won't even say that, maybe me. Like it's it's a, it's, <laughs> it's a it's a massive drop off, right? And so he's younger than these guys, he's more productive, he's a better football player. I think that's working against it. The draft has some names, but I feel like it's not the greatest draft class, you know, perceived the corner. So I think that's more looking at the market. And the last piece is this corner market has been stagnant. I mean, Jair Alexander is still the highest paid corner in the NFL. I want to say he got paid three years ago now. So he probably thinks he has a responsibility. That's a big thing people sometimes don't know. Like, they feel they have a responsibility to their cohorts at the position. Like, if I don't reset the market, it's the guy behind me is not going to get as good of a deal. Mm. So there's some element of that as well, I'm sure. But I hear what you're saying. Y'all silly like the mayor.